Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, it's not we're doing a spicy Bloody Mara. Yeah. Uh, Bloody Mara? But it could be Bloody, bloody Mara. Whatever you want it to be. Bloody, bloody something. Dave Mara? Oh, it's bloody. Look at that. Uh, mm. This is a spicy Bloody Mary. Uh, by, it's Fugo Vodka by the Cutwater uh, Spirits Ooh, Company. Look how thick it is. That is a good looking Bloody Mary. <laughs> That's that's like piling up in the glass. It's so so it's got a spicy meter on it. Yes, this it's is... got five chilies, and this is four and a half out of five chilies in the spice level. It we says have, it's we made. We have mixed this yeah, earlier by dropping it and throwing it across the floor. <laughs> well, yes, yes. Um, it's made with uh, cut water vodka. It's won over seventeen awards in two thousand six uh, in craft spirits. Blah blah blah. They make. Moscow Mule and a couple other ones. I bought this one because this was in between the ABV. It's 10%, mm -hmm. which is pretty, it's what I would want in a Bloody Mary. Yeah. Um, it's nice to this, see actual. This looks like a Bloody Mary, though. You see, you actually see pepper and spice. Yeah, yeah, and... there's there's junk in this. It's nice to and see. And it's thick enough that you can tell there's like, there's like some tomato puree in here. You know what I need? I need like, uh, what what's it called? Um, it's like a little, it's like a little bullet shaped thing. They're delicious. It's pepper. Don't look at me like that. No, uh, it, they they come pickled. They're like uh, a jalapeno. No. <laughs> uh, olive. No, those those are round, my man. You said bullet shaped. Yeah, it's bullet shaped. It's it's olives are You put round, it in like oval. stew. I can't remember what it's called. This is irritating. You can fry it. Okra. Okra. Eh. Okra. Like yeah, okra. pickled slimy. okra. Just thump. Shit slime. In there. It's um, delicious. So for a canned beverage, this is easily the best looking. This looks great. This looks like a real Bloody Mary. Um, now, 12 bucks for a four pack of, of 12 ounce cans, but there's 10% alcohol. It's more than I can say oh, for yeah, our PBR say. coffee over there. It also looks like a Bloody Mary. Yeah. It which looks I'm impressed with it. I thought it would just be like orange. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like real ingredients. This can't have a very big shelf life. See, it doesn't smell. I don't smell any like Worcestershire. If this is good, I'll definitely try some of the other products. Or is it Worcestershire? I get some Worcestershire in there. Um, definitely tomatoes. Celery. Celery salt, I mean. L little, a little like smells, pepperiness. Yeah. This smells like a, like a decent. When's the last time I had a Bloody Mary's? Like. 10 years? Uh, I made some Bloody Mary mix like last year in August. <laughs> that's good spice. Woo! Hey, that's not bad. That's a kick, boy. That is not bad. I could drink, I could drink that. It's got a real cayenne pepper kick. Yeah. Like uh, if you ever had cayenne pepper, it'll get you a real kick right at the back of the throat, but it'll go away kind of fast. It's the kind of kick I like, and if you're drinking something, mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't hang around. Nice tomato bay. I mean, it's thick. It's it's a Bloody Mary. Yes, it is. This tastes like a Bloody Mary. Definitely, definitely has all the uh, necessary ingre ingredients. Definitely cayenne in the pepper, though. That's definitely what that is. Yeah, little, I think it is cayenne. It's like smoked cayenne. Get a little garlic, a little bit of sugar. Man, that's I nice. I can't believe how good this is. Little pieces of something. Pepper or tomato or something. I'm thinking. It's, I'm thinking that's black pepper. Yeah, there's a lot of black pepper. Little little like f like flakes of black pepper in there. This is impressive. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you have to like Bloody Marys, and you have to be expecting something pretty spicy. I mean, for for us, we like spicy stuff. It's not that bad, but I think somebody mm -hmm. who's not a, a hothead might find this a little. If too I hot. went to a if I went to a bar and I ordered a Bloody Mary, and this is what they brought me, and they charged like five six dollars. I'd be totally fine with yeah. it. I wouldn't even know it came out of a can. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like, it does taste like Bloody Mary mix, but still, that's... Like I said, 10% is good. You can't even tell there's any alcohol in it. I'm down. As far as Bloody Marys go, I mean, as far as canned ones, I can't say I've had a lot of canned Bloody Marys. True. But as far as <laughs> pre-made cocktails go, this is probably one of the better ones I've had, being actually what it says it is, you know yeah. what I mean? This is not cheap Bloody Mary mix. No. This is some, like, I could I could go with this, like, Make my for, mouth water for, a little bit. for $12? Yeah, I think it's 12, $12 ounce cans for four? at 10%, it's doable. I'm not even, I'm not even sorry. Because it would cost you, to get the to get this particular brand of vodka, you know, you're talking probably $25 for the vodka, yep. and six bucks for the 
mixed plus uh, you know your spices and stuff so it's not too terrible now that I've started drinking more of it I'm starting to get like a there's a little bit of an off flavor in here and I want to say it's like a plasticky flavor I'm not gonna think plasticky spicy the spicy is really nice though that's I'm I'm prepared uh, exotic spices heavy dose of pepper <laughs> is it now Yes. I is. couldn't tell. I don't know if I'd call this drinkable. It says drinkable. No, I would not call this drinkable. It's this pretty is thick. Yeah, this is very thick. This this is going to redefine it's got your some experience of on the bottom of that can too. Oh yeah. This is going to redefine your experience of what thick means. Right. She's girthy. <laughs> got the heat hiccups, huh? I do. I do have the heat hiccups just a little. I can feel them coming. Yeah, this is going to give me indigestion for sure. Mm, I don't even care. Uh, now, not, time for a rating. Uh, I think this is a nine. Like, I'm gonna go with a nine. Half a point for. Um, uh, what? Where's my brain? It's a tiny bit pricey, but I don't think it's too bad. So I'll take a half point off the price. But I'm giving it a nine. I think it's easily uh, one of the best canned cocktails I've had. I'm interested to try some of the other beverages. Um, now, this is a Bloody Mary, and like I said, I've never had another canned Bloody Mary because I didn't even know they existed. Mm. But uh, this one's definitely solid for sure. No. I doubt this is the only one, but I haven't seen any more of them. Uh, hey, I've got to, I've got to give this. Mm. Now I think I'm going to give it a nine. Also, I'm not taking off points for the price because I think for ten percent and for it to look like and taste like it does, I think nine is right exactly where it needs to be, and the price is correct also. Uh, I, I am, stuff, yeah. I, I am going to take away that that score of ten, just because of the the weird, the weird. Bitter -ish yeah, you have to be, flavor you have to be about for halfway it. through. You have to be yeah. looking for it. To get you do it. have to be looking for it, but it is not perfect. It's very, very close, though. I would drink this. I would drink this uh, uh, the morning after uh, a crazy party. I'm very unique, for sure. They weren't lying with the four and a half spices. I get yeah, the four and a half peppers. Yeah, that was four and a half peppers for sure. Like, it's not really a challenge drink. Right. By any means. I mean, it's pretty thick. It's, this is pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave it a comment down below. I'm Special K. I'm disturbed by the way you say below. Thanks for watching.